actually started cooking at the age of three, really, at my nan's house. Uh, every day when I was there, I had my little red table out and stuff like that. Um, and then two years ago, I started doing a bit of training, sort of more, just come to see, you know, what kind of food it is over the stables. Um, and then from there, I entered you know, various competitions and stuff like that. I'd like to work with some top chefs to start off with then. I would like to run my own kitchen maybe in a few years' time. I like, really enjoy using local produce, you know. Um, it's great to be supported by Meat Promotion Wales and stuff like that. Um, and I just think, you know, we should be using Welsh land, the quality of it and stuff like that. So. The, the first few months have just been absolutely amazing. We've had the best reviews, we've worked with some of the best um, suppliers in the local area, we've got a great team supporting us, we've got a great sort of client base now, we've got, um, you know, we've, it really is really starting to become quite a sort of uh, gastronomic venue now. It's, it's something you sort of think about, you know, I'm going to put this dish together and that dish together as you get to your career, but when you actually get appointed as a business partner of your first restaurant and you sit there with a piece of paper and think, that people are going to read this all over the world, how can I best represent myself on a piece of paper? And uh, you have to think, what is it you're about? It's about simple food, you know, well-cooked food and, you know, working with local suppliers and, you know, things like Welsh lamb, for example, you know, things that I've used in various restaurants around the country for many years and using that on the menu. And it was, it was quite a challenge, actually, putting the menu together because, every, you know, so many people have got comments, you know, oh, you know, we don't think that that dish quite works. And this, so you really do have to believe in it and be really confident in what you're doing. That was, that was quite a challenge, but I must say it's... Um, the menu doesn't really change that often because we now have some real signatures that people actually come for, you know, because they've read about it, whether Jay Rayner spoke about it in The Guardian or, you know, wherever it's been mentioned all over the internet. People come in and say, oh, you know, we heard that the muscle curry dish is great, etc. Et so. Quite interesting, actually, uh, and, and the role I've taken on is managing the whole project. So we actually have about 20 staff on the books there. So trying to control them, being the youngest member in the team, is quite difficult. Um, but I must say that, um, you know, it's, it's good fun. Um, and to be fair, it was quite well received. You obviously get the ones who don't want to be told what to do by an 18-year-old and they've gone. Um, but now we've got a good team in place and I don't know what to say about me behind my back, but it seems to work when I'm there. So. Um, the best part is, you know, it's been my dream for years and I thought it was something that I'd have to work another 10, 20 years for to achieve. That's the best part, you know, it really is. Uh, the worst part is um, I forgot what sleep is, so I don't get any anymore. I think that the amount of experience that I've gained and the amount of people I've actually worked with and worked for has helped me get to opening the restaurant now and being able to confidently sort of run this place um, because it, it's you know that that has always been the key for me to get so much experience to, to be able to do something like this um, you know and I've also spent a lot of time not just necessarily in kitchens but actually working in front of the house as well to understand how to run a restaurant which is where I am now so. Uh, it's always something that, you know, when I, when I opened the restaurant, everybody sort of said, oh, you know, why don't you put this on the menu, that on the menu, and it's, you know, I, you want to put everything on, but how, how I work it is that I call the suppliers at the start of the month and say, change my menu, tell me what you've got this month, and then I'll put that on the menu. Where I can, I use Welsh ingredients, of course, but logistically, getting that down to Berkshire and it being in the same quality and everything else, because it, it, it still has to be commercial, so... Unfortunately, it doesn't always work, but where we can, and of course, whilst lamb, whilst beef is always on the menu. So. The compromise for me never would be, I mean, I'd never change it from whilst lamb. That's always, it's always has been, it always will be on the menu. Um, and customers, you know, customers love the product. 
it's you know the flavour profile is just incredible and that, I think that really is what what people come for to, for that real wow factor and you can actually do the most simple dishes with things like Welsh lamb because it gives you that impact of flavour without messing around with the actual ingredient too much. Who knows, you know, everybody says, oh, you know, I wonder when this mission style can... Nobody can predict, you know, when are you going to win the lottery? Who knows, but everybody would like to, and of course I would like to, but I think that um, it's been a positive start and hopefully uh, things can only get better. So.